Today, we've announced our results for the first half of 2022. And I'm pleased to report that Imperial's transformation remains firmly on track. Our core combustible business is now stabilized. Aggregate market share for our five priority markets is up by 25 basis points. This is a great achievement by our people after a long period of relative decline. Revenue is up, earnings per share are up, and net debt is moving in the right direction. We want to see a healthier future for our industry, and I can report that the reboot of our next generation business is progressing according to plan. In market trials, consumers have given us positive feedback. We're now planning a broader rollout of our new propositions in vape and heated tobacco. It's now been 18 months since we launched our five-year strategy to build a sustainable imperial capable of growth, year in, year out. Today's encouraging results reflect the important work that has been taking place to strengthen the company. A sharper approach to consumer insights, more efficient structures, and a culture based on collaboration, accountability, and a focus on the future. Taken together, these foundations are helping us play our natural role as the industry's challenger, creating real choice for consumers and our customers. The operating environment for all businesses will become more challenging, but I'm confident that thanks to the firm foundations we have built and the commitment of our people, Imperial is well placed to continue delivering against its strategy.